Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the new HSL secondary corrector tools inside the Lumetri color section of Premiere Pro 2017. So, what these do is they allow you to just apply corrections to a certain part of the image that is not done with just using a mask like this. So, it'll be a lot more fine control. So, you see, I've already got a little bit of correction going on in this shot just to get it up so we don't have to go through that. So, I've got a little LUT applied. I've got some highlight and shadow stuff because it's sort of a high dynamic range scene. And now we scroll down to our HSL secondary in our Lumetri color. Find the Lumetri color in the effects panel. So, the first step in here, tick set color and select the part of the image that you want to correct. So, we're going to sort of pump up. Dave's skin tones a little bit. Not that it really needs it. He looks fine just like this. But we need to make a tutorial. And you see right away, nothing really happens besides these sliders move around some, which doesn't really help us out a lot. And so you go and click on this saturation button. So in here you can select different mask modes. And I'll normally just leave it on color slash gray because why the heck not? And now if you want to, you can use these add and remove color controls to try and get your mask working. But really, these sliders work a lot better. So it's just sort of start at the top and scoot them around until you see in, you know, this is pretty good how it is. Make it a little bit wider. Saturation. So H stands for hue, S stands for saturation, L stands for lightness. So that's what these controls are doing. And you can sort of see that in these little bars there. So make that work. It's looking pretty good. And now, there we go. So now we're starting to get a pretty nice little key going. And you see we've got some futs around here. Can't really do anything about that because it doesn't have a mask control in here, which is one of the things I should really add. Because if you try and add a mask up here, then it does it for the whole Lumetri color. So you could add a whole second uh, instance of Lumetri color and use a mask on that and just do HSL in there. But who wants to do that? So a little tangent there. So now we've got our key looking pretty good. We can go ahead and denoise it. I'll just turn that up to 100 because why not? And then blur it out just a little bit. Probably even less than that. And now you see here they don't have any uh, mask expansion or contraction control. So if you need better refined mask controls, you got to go into Resolve still. But, you know, they've, they've got to start. And I, I appreciate that. So now we will turn off our mask there. And you can see we can do a sort of main correction here. Make Dave and do Crazy Smurf Man, which is pretty cool. I'm sure he appreciates that. And then we've also got a little more granular control. So I'll go and just push our highlights a little bit, a little bit warmer to make him look you know, like an Oompa Loompa a little bit. We'll pretend like this is a shot for a Kardashian show. and We want everybody to look orange. So then we can also contrast up skin a little bit, which is just sort of bring, we can pop even more and you know add a little bit of sharpness. And just like that, you know, we've got him looking pretty decent. Dave agrees. So you can see, it's a great thing to have. It's not all the way there yet, but you know, I appreciate them having it. So if you like this tutorial, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If there's any more new features of Premiere Pro CC 2017 that you want me to cover, just let me know because there are a couple neat things in there. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out meestermedia.com slash products. Got the House Lutz pack, which I used in this shot to, you know, sort of start getting it, getting it going. If you didn't, still pretty flat nice quick little way to punch things up also bright light sight league pack and the carnival power grades if you are real into color grading and you're using davinci resolve power grades are pretty pretty dope you can do all sorts of crazy stuff so once again i've been theo with meester media we have a great day and i will see you next time bye